So a couple years ago, before the COVID pandemic, while I was getting ready with my wife, I'm sure it happened to many people here. My wife would be standing in front of her closet, a closet bursting with clothes. And she'll stop and look at me and complain she has absolutely nothing to wear. And this would happen on a, very, very often, very often. And it would end up in one of two ways. Or we would end up in the mall to buy yet another pair of trousers or another top. Or she would end up wearing one of three outfits she would always wear. Thus leaving over 80% of her closet unworn to take the dust and sometimes in the worst case scenario to finish in landfills. So it got me thinking, how can we give value to all these clothes cluttering our closet? And unfortunately at the time, your only solutions were Facebook Marketplace or Instagram pages. Very tedious, very time consuming, and most importantly, no security at all. Meaning scams were, were very commonplace. Your other solution would be to go to thrift shops. With limited inventory, finding what you want is very difficult, and they'll charge very high selling fees, going all the way up to 80%. And that's partly why, as of today, the fashion industry is one of the most polluted industries in the world. And that's when I came up with the Clear2 solution a dedicated marketplace for second-hand fashion. Our goal is to help people all across Thailand easily make money from their closet. We also help people save a lot of money, as second-hand fashion is on average 70% cheaper compared to retail. All that offering a sustainable alternative to fashion. Thrifting only one item second-hand can save up to six kilo of CO2. When preparing the business model, we decided to launch with a business model that's been proven worldwide. In the European market and in the US market, which is a commission-based model, we basically charge a buyer insurance of 7% plus 5 Thai baht per transaction. So the buyer transaction will act as an insurance for the buyer in case he gets an empty box or uh, no item at all. The advantage of having a marketplace is the rich monetization options we hold from modifying buyer fees to introducing seller fees with charging a small amount of fee to the seller to advertise his product to advertising fees where we can monetize the high number of traffic we have on the application all the way to supplier partnerships which are partnerships that can be done with shipping companies across Thailand and thrift shops to onboard them to the application. So the second-hand fashion market in Thailand is a very new market. So how did I decide to calculate it? I simply looked at the fashion market, which is a six and a half billion dollar market. And because we only wear 20% of our clothes, that means five billion dollars worth of clothes are currently unworn and waiting to be sold. With our current revenue model, the 7% commission, that's a 600 million dollar market we're tapping in. So Clear2 was created in 2020 and it took us one year to develop the application. By December, one quarter after launch, we were already rated top three shopping app all across Thailand, right behind Lazada and Shopee. By January, we already reached 100,000 users and our customer acquisition cost was at 20 cents per user. Up till the end of the year, last year, we reached 250,000 users with over 300,000 items listed on the application and a customer acquisition cost under 0.05 US dollar. Interestingly, what we're starting to see, we're starting to see in uh, clear to influencers, people that have been selling over 15,000 baht worth of clothes and who are sharing on many, many social medias such as Lemonade, TikTok and uh, YouTube. So currently, to accelerate our growth, we're currently raising a 250k round. Our target would be to raise through a safe note, uh, but we would be open to equity. Uh, the goal of this raise would be to reach a million downloads by the end of the year, 1 million USD in GMV, and build a team of 20 people. Previous to this round, uh, investment, we raised uh, 100K last year from Business Angels, and we also received 100K from Google in kind value. Thank you very much. Thank you. And time for question. Hi, thanks for the presentation. Um, it seems like you have uh, a lot of users, a lot of downloads. What are you doing in terms of GMB monthly? Yeah, so as of last year, we were at 100, we did 100,000 USD in GMB uh, total. 
our target uh, would be to reach 30 k GMV monthly. What's holding back in terms of converting those downloads, those users into, mm -hmm. into transactions, basically? Yeah, so basically the first six months, six to eight months, we've been focusing on marketing to sellers to get the maximum number of products on the platform. And we've only converted our strategy to uh, attract buyers in the past three months. How are you acquiring uh, new customers? Or do you run any ads or do you see any in marketing? Or how do you grow your, yeah. your apps? Uh, we basically use influencer marketing. Uh, basically, we developed a strategy. It's what the bit I call the VC game. Uh, we invest in 10 influencers and we expect one to be viral. And that's how we manage to get our sustainable growth. What's your cost of uh, acquisition per user? Like, As of today, per download is 0.05 US dollar. Pretty good. Thank you. Hi. Hi, yeah. Thank you for presenting. Just a quick question in terms of this intermediation risk. Do you see your customers going off platform and transacting individually between themselves? Yeah, so as of today, we our technology is at MVP level, so we do have a lot of transactions that are happening off-platform. Uh, this is mostly due to the number of features integrated to the application. Uh, so we have been working on it, we are working on it on every single update, and we have been successfully uh, bringing those transactions off-app back to the application. Uh, can you uh, share with us a little bit about the team? Okay. Yeah, so for the moment, I'm a sole founder. Uh, I also have currently an acting CTO uh, due to cash reasons. He's a freelance with us. He's an acting CTO. Uh, we already managed uh, equity and package deal if we close uh, the round. Uh, so that we'll be able to join full time. Uh, so my CTO currently is based in India with over 10 years in experience in uh, development. Uh, he used to work with many marketplace startups uh, in India. I guess a couple of questions on the operations from, from my side, right? Um, in terms of transactions, it's completely C to C. You guys don't have like a middle warehouse to, to process the product. Okay. And for the insurance, who covers the damages when things go wrong? Okay. So the insurance model is basically as we are a C to C marketplace, we act as the middleman. So basically, if we do a transaction, you're the seller and I'm the buyer. I'll pay Clear2. Clear2 will hold the money until the buyer receives the product because all the shipping is in, uh, uh, developed inside the application. We know whenever the parcel is delivered. Once the parcel is delivered, we'll send the buyer notification. Hey, you received your parcel. And then you'll be able to say everything is OK or report the problem. So and this then, is how it works. So in that case, and related to my next question as well, is there a return policy? And how have you seen return rates so far? Yeah, so yeah, there is a return policy. So the return policy is on certain factors. Uh, the first factor would be the item is completely different from what advertised. It's uh, broken or anything else. Uh, other re reasons such as the size or the color is slightly different that we don't accept. So it will be the seller who can say, okay, for you, I will accept and they can manage together. In terms of like logistics and shipping, do you work with any shipping companies or are sellers respons responsible for shipping those closest directly to buyers? Yeah, so as of today, we have uh, three integrated shipping companies. We have EMS Thai Post, uh, Flash Express, and SCG. Our target continuing will be to continue integrating more and more options for us, for our sellers and our buyers. Uh, so we're thinking about Ninja Van, Carry Logistics, of course, uh, and many others.